है हाउ आई एडिट माई वीडियोज़ ठीक है मैं अपनी वीडियोज़ को कैसे एडिट करती हूँ चले जी स्टार्ट करते हैं सबसे पहले एडिटिंग डज नॉट हैव बी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इतनी मुश्किल नहीं है वीडियो को एडिट करना चले स्टार्ट करते हैं वन आई फर्स्ट स्टार्ट एडिटिंग वीडियो आई थॉट आई नीडेड एक्सपेंसिव सॉफ्टवेयर पावरफुल कंप्यूटर एंड आर्ट्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग बट आई क्विकली लर्न डैट ग्रेट वीडियोज कैन बी मेड विद फ्री टूल्स बेसिक एडिटिंग नॉलेज एंड सम क्रिएटिविटी दिस गाइड ब्रेक डाउन एग्जैक्टली हाउ आई एडिट माई वीडियो एज अ पिगनर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ माई वीडियो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट एडिटिंग आई आस्क माई सेल्फ वट्स द गोल फॉर दिस वीडियो इज दिस टू एजुकेट एंटरटेन इंस्पायर और टेलिंग अ स्टोरी Understanding the process, your purpose help guide the editing process. From pacing and music choice to what content stay and what get cut. Choosing the right editing software. There are so many options out there, but I stick to beginner friendly editors for mobile. कैप कट एंड वी एन एडिटर आर मे गो टू एप्स फॉर डेस्क ऑफ आई यूज दी दिनकी रिजॉल्व और आई मूवी बहुत फ्री दे आर सिंपल हैव ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप इंटरफेस एंड गेट द जॉब डन विदाउट ओवर हेल्पिंग मी गैदरिंग ऑल माई फाइल्स इन वन प्लेस A, I make a folder named as the project and inside it I create sub folder footage audio music image and exports This way I'm not hunting for profile while editing organization make everything easier and faster review reviewing uh, reviving and pre watching reviewing and pre watching my footage before dragging clips into the timeline i preview everything i recorded i note the good takes any funny or useful moments and parts to avoid watching my footage help me plan the flow of the video and keeps me for wasting time later starting a new project and set a, setting up the timeline when i open my editing apps i started a new project and import all the necessary media i make sure the timeline is set to 1080 ph yeah hd at 30 fps which is great quality for youtube and social media i name the project properly like how i edit my video episode 1 then arranging my main footage first i drag my clip main clip usually the talking part or screen recording on to the timeline first i put them in the correct order and focus on getting a rough layout this is my skeleton and i will build everything else around it cutting out mistake and pauses i use the split tool to slice my video where wherever where were i made a mistake i repeated a line or pause too long i delete those parts to keep the video clean and tight viewers have short attention span trimming the fat keeps them engaged adding jump cuts and zoom to keep the flow fast and smooth i use jump cuts quick cuts between lines and remote that air i also add a slight zoom in or zoom out effect every few sentence 
इट एंड मूवमेंट एंड मेक द वीडियो फील मोर डायनेमिक देन लेइंग इन बी रूल एंड एक्स्ट्रा क्लिप्स B roll is secondary footage that play over my main clip to show that I am telling about. If I mention editing on my phone, I will add a screen recording. B roll add context, variety and make the video more visually interesting. Inserting background music. Music bring energy and emotions to a video. I choose loyalty free tracks for video audio library or pixabay I place the track on a separate audio layer and reduce the volume of around 20 dp so it does not compete with my own voice Syncing audio and video if needed if I record my voice separately or use screen recording with voice over I make sure to sync the audio and video. I match the waveform or use the real keys like a clap to align everything perfectly. This makes the video feel professional. Clean up my audio. I if I use noise reduction tools to remove background hum or hiss. Some editors have built-in tool or I run my voice through audacity to the quick fixes. I also boost the volume slightly and apply a light EQ to make our voice sound clear. Adding titles and on text screen text. Text help emphasize key points, name or idea. I use big bold titles at the start and simple caption. throughout the video on screen text also help if viewers watch without sounds i stick to easy to read fonts like montserrat in arial using call outs and oil to emphasis sometime i want to highlight something i am saying like a tip or warning i use call call out graphic arrows or pop boxes these add clarity and make the video more fun and interactive implying color correction even if i shot with natural lighting sometimes clip look dull or too warm i adjust the brightness contrast saturation and white balance Many apps have automatic color correction or filters you can apply with one click keeping my editing style consistent editing style consistent i try to make a consistent look and feel across all my videos that mean using the same fonts transition types music vibe and editing rhythm 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 sorry this build my brand and make my video recognizable to returning viewers adding fun elements like emojis and memes for more personally i sometimes add emojis gifs or memes especially in funny or casual video it help me connect with viewers and add humor but i see them sparingly to keep the video clean inserting sound effects s e f x small sound effects like pops swishes and dings help emphasize action transition or jokes i keep a small library of free s a f x i can drag into the timeline this title t- uh, touches add polish and improve viewer attention real retention what the entire video for error before exporting i watch the full video once or twice to catch mistake like a typo in the text audio sensing issue and abru- uh, abrupt cuts it's tempting to skip this step i save embarrassment later when the video is live 
exporting the best quality. I export the final video in 1080p MP4 format using high bitrate setting for YouTube. Most editors offer presets like YouTube 1080p which work great. I name the file clearly and save it in my export folder. Creating a thumbnail. If it's for YouTube, I make a custom thumbnail using Canva or Photoshop. A good thumbnail had bold text, close a face, expression and bright color. It should make people browser and want to click. Thumbnail matter more than many people. Writing a good title and description. When uploading, I write my catchy title with relevant keywords. In the description, I explain what the video is about. Include link to my social and add tags that help YouTube understand the content. This improves visibility. Posting and promoting the video. Once uploaded, I share this video on Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp group or even Reddit if it fits the niche. The first 24 hours are important for engagement. So I try to post when my audience is most active. Learning from every edit. Each video sometimes new whether it's about timing, transition or audience response. I watch my old video to see. How far I have come editing is not just technical, it's creative storytelling and the more I practice the better I get. Would you like a printable checklist of real flow chart? This is the edit process or I can turn this into a ready to use YouTube video script with time spent and voice over style. Let me know for me your Every video is a new lesson. One thing I have learned on my editing journey is that no two videos are the same. Even if I am using the same software or working with a similar format, each project presents its own set of challenges and surprises. Whether it's learning how to fix a shaky clips, experimenting with transition, and discovering a new shortcut every edit teaches me something valuable. The key is to stay open to those lessons instead of rushing through the process. Mistakes are part of the growth. <clears throat> I used to get frustrated when I made mistakes, like misplacing audio, exporting in the wrong resolution, or for getting to mute background noise, but I have realized that these small errors are actually stepping stone. Every time something goes wrong, I figure out how to fix it. Then and that knowledge sticks with me. It's better to make mistake now and learn from them than to never improve at all. Watching my own work helped me improve. After finishing a project, I make it a point to rewatch it not just once, but maybe two or three times. I look at pacing, how smooth the cuts are, how the music flow, and if the wheel matching the tones I was going for. Sometimes I cringe at awkward times or wish I did something differently, and that's totally okay. That self. Uh, that self review help me understand my own editing style better and sharpen it for next time. Feedback is fuel. When I share my video, I always pay attention to comments and feedback. Whether is it's a friend pointing out my audio issue or a view saying they are loved the piecing, all it's helped me grow. Constructive criticism is called. So guys, I have given you the advice before my advice. If you want to like my channel, share and subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so that our next videos will be notified. So until then, stay legendary.